How's it guys? Welcome to my channel. I want to share with you guys another recipe video. I think they are fun to do. Um, I'm no expert. I love cooking and so I decided to share again. I did do my first one and I did mango bread. So this is my recipe binder. I decided to use this as that. And this is made by the House of Flynn. This is the Playa Traveler's Wallet with leather fixings, accoutrement. I can use those words if we're in a recipe video, can't I? <laughs> and so here we go. It's very functional. So whoever I leave this to in my will, I hope they enjoy it. Because I, my plan for this is just to put in my, our very favorite top recipes. So, um, <laughs> yeah, this is my happy planner, half sheets, happy notes. Um, I think it's called Everyday Fresh. And... I like to mix things up and make them interesting for myself and use, I really like to play with words. So, especially in my writing, because that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> and so I named this recipe um, planner Ono Grinds because I used to live in Hawaii and it is not obviously going to be all Hawaiian food or anything, but... Um, I just try to put what's near and dear to me into the things that mean the most to me and what I do. So that's just who I am. All right. And then this first section is called Chez Douvre. Again, the play on words. That is in French. It just means masterpiece. So my main dishes. And then I have a section for accoutrement and delicacies, which are my desserts. So... This is the one I did on mango bread. And, ooh, I would really want to add the name of the person that this is from on here. This, this was um, Karu's Recipes, like I said before. So, I will go ahead and add her name to this. Because credit where credit is due, you know? Okay, so... Without further ado, I am just going to take this out. And I haven't um, actually made this yet. It's only been a week since I wrote this recipe down from one of my very first recipes ever in my whole life. <laughs> from when I was like 17. So I will add a picture to this. So I'm just going to put this to the side. Right here. I think it's pretty, so I'll leave it in the view a little. And give myself some room with this paper. And this recipe we actually made just yesterday. So I have not printed a picture, but I do have one to show you. And this is it right here. Now it doesn't look like much, but believe me, now this, I have it just in a bowl after it was cooked. As you can see, it's my little rubber made bowl and I've had that for many years. <laughs> yes, even my kitchen supplies have meaning <laughs> to me anyway. So, there it is. I'm wondering what recipe is that? This is so delicious. So I will print that eventually. And then I will adhere it to this page in some fancy schmancy way. Hopefully that'll look super duper cute. And we hope. And so this is the recipe that we are going to use. A friend of mine gave me these 
as a gift. She wrote them out by hand, so these are very meaningful to me, as always. Everything has meaning. Everything. For every action, there is a reaction. Okay? All right. So, I say do what you love, love what you do. You know? And if you don't, then don't do it. <laughs> so, this is a recipe for potato soup. Okay? Now, like, this soup is my favorite soup ever. <sighs> I kid you not. I am not kidding. So, because she asked me which recipes I wanted, and this was one of them. Okay? So, um, what we did was, we did use three cups of, this calls for three cups of peeled potatoes, two and a half cups of broccoli florets, one cup of chopped onion, two cups of grated carrots, two celery ribs diced, four tablespoons chicken bouillon granules, three cups of water, three-fourths cup of butter, flour, three-fourths cup, four cups of milk, and we use skim milk, one teaspoon, tablespoon of salt, one quarter table, teaspoon of pepper, one cup shredded cheddar cheese. Okay. And so what we did was we also added in the spices. We have what we call lovingly our house spice for what we guys, what we use in our house. So we added that to the soup and we used a whole bag of potatoes to make this a whole bag of broccoli. Um, about eight carrots or 10, 10 to eight to 10 carrots, eight to 10 celery ribs. So we made this actually more heavy on the broccoli <clears throat> and the, um, carrots and celery. We added way more than what it called for because, you know, potatoes are very starchy, so they have major calories. So, and again, we use the skim milk. So this is the original recipe. And so that is how we are going to write it down. Um, I did pull some stickers from this sticker book right here. And this is called the food sticker book. And this is the second sticker book I ever bought. Um, the social light accessory pack sticker book with the sticky notes and the paper and whatnot. That was the first one and this was the second one. So I wanted to use some of these. Unfortunately, it didn't have any celery and we did not use baked potatoes. We used um, red potatoes for the nutritional value in them. And that is what we used. So this is the cheddar, a potato, carrot, and broccoli. Healthy, may with love, eat well, be happy. So hopefully I can figure a way to add these stickers in, but I want to get my recipe down on paper first and put it in my new recipe planner. So here we go. And I think I might write in cursive this time. Um, maybe. Yeah, no, I think I'll print it. Okay, last time I put washi tape up here, but this time I don't think I'm going to. So I'm not going to leave room for that. And so, yeah, I want to make sure I follow the same format that I did with my mango bread. So actually, I'm going to leave this up just, you can't see it. Well, maybe I can show you. Just like that. So, so hopefully that didn't make anyone puke. <laughs> Sorry, I am no expert on the camera here. Um, but that way I can just follow the same format. Pretty simple, I have it. Pretty dang simple. Now I want you to be able to see really well. And
just move my mat over a little bit. There we go. Okay, potato soup, here we come. Here we go. Three cups. Diced. Peeled. Potatoes. Oh, two and a half cup broccoli florets. And you can, if you have a whole head of broccoli, whatever you have, use that by all means. But I am just going to copy the recipe as is originally. Because, you know, I know how to jazz up and double things and triple and quadruple things. One cup of chopped onion. Two cups of grated carrots. Now what we did was we pureed the carrots and the celery because I didn't want it stringy as well as the broccoli. Two celery ribs. Diced. And I'm writing again with the 0 0.3 high tech Coletto because I'm able to keep my handwriting small. I do have a tendency to write big, so there's that. Four tablespoons of chicken bouillon granules and three cups of water and we also used um chicken stock organic chicken stock in ours so as opposed to the water. We did use a little water. And we also used, I can't believe it's not butter. Because that is Weight Watcher friendly. Three fourths cup of flour. And we'll use skim milk, four cups of milk. One tablespoon of salt. One fourth teaspoon of pepper. And one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. That's all there is to it. Now it does take time to get a meal on the table. That's just the way it is. Prep work takes a lot longer than the actual cooking. But it's always worth it in the end, you know? Okay, and then on the back here are the directions. There we go. The instructions. Okay, so... I hope that focuses. I like watching people write, so if you like this kind of video, please keep watching. <laughs> and if not, I understand. You can fast forward it. How did I do it? I skipped two spaces. One, two. I'm looking over here at my mango bread one. So I skipped to one, two. Here we go. 
in Dutch oven. If you don't have one, just use a heavy pot, basically. You know, um, what are those called? Those really iron, cast iron. You can use one of those. Combine the potatoes. Broccoli. Onion. Carrots. Celery. Bouillon. You can also boil your own chicken stock. We did not do that this time. I used the organic boxed one. But for nutritional value, if you boil a piece of chicken or any meat with bone on it, um, you are going to get all of that, those health benefits. And I swear it's like taking an antibiotic. So anytime I'm sick, we always make real chicken broth like that. Because if you're just boiling chicken without the bone, you don't get all those nutritional benefits. So, and it works. So bouillon and water, simmer, for 20 minutes, or until vegetables are tender. Excuse me. Then in large saucepan melt butter Stir in flour. You're making your roux, basically. Cook and stir. Over medium heat. For two minutes. Whisk in the milk, salt and pepper, and your house spice if you use one. Bring to a boil. Cook and stir. for two minutes or until thickened. Then add to vegetable mixture Simmer 10 minutes until heated through. Then stir in cheese. just until melted and that serves 12. Enjoy! Okay.
Now I am going to put a tiny picture, like I said, on here, but I do want to put some stickers. So here we go. You know what I mean? I'll bring it down just a little bit. And closer in to me. So I'm not like, oh, reaching across, you know? There we go. Eat well, be happy. That looks good. Now, like I said, this is not a baked potato. We used red potatoes for nutritional value, but I do want to have a little old potato on there, being that it's potato soup. You know what I mean? I don't like it there. Okay, cute. And what I'm doing is I am putting a lot of things up here because I want to save room down here to put that picture. You know what I mean? So hopefully I can fit it all in there. with love right up here. And then healthy right down here. I think that looks cute. Now you guys can go all out and do a whole bunch of other things to it. Um, it just doesn't have to be stickers or anything. So. Okay, I've pulled out my little craft mat and some Distress Oxide. This is called Tea Dye. And these are all my daubers. And I've never used the Tea Dye one, I don't think. So I need to find it. Look, I have all these labeled. No, I don't have all of them labeled yet, but some of them. Because I have all of them and it takes time to do all that. But I just, when I pull one out that I've never used a color that I haven't labeled, then I will label a few at a time. Oh, here it is. Good. Perfect. So tea dye. And then I have them labeled here. Tea dye. Pretty. Now, I've never done this technique before. So, we're walking on the wild side. Let me just test that. Okay. And I think I'll just as add some oomph. To it by distressing with just a little bit on the edges for fun because like I said these are my most precious recipes and I want them to have some gumption some oomph some bling to show my little old heart you know <laughs> did you guys ever watch that movie like water for chocolate 
It's a movie from the 90s, I do believe. Anyway, that is one of my most favorite films. It's in, actually, it's in Spanish and it has, it does have English subtitles. I love that movie. I own that movie. I have for years on DVD because I had to have it. And to this day, like, if I want something special from someone, I, like, if I'm making bread, I cry right into my dough, okay? Now, maybe that sounds a little over the top or eccentric, but that's who I am. And it works, <laughs> you know, because definitely... Um, not when I'm giving it to other people, mind you, don't worry, but, um, <laughs> because I've made dough and bread and all different kinds of things for other people, but I'm talking about my family or whatever, you know, cause it emulates love. It just does. And that is what I'm all about. And I'm even going to go around the edge here. So... Food has a lot of sentimental value. It brings people together, in my opinion. I like diversity and being different and culture and all of those sorts of things. I always have been very interested and aware. And I've also taken psychology as well as sociology in college, of course. So I do know that people come together with food around the table. What do you guys think? That is kind of neat. Look. You see that? I like that. Just a little touch of oomph. So it gives it like an antique sort of an antique finish. I've never done that technique before, ever. So... Yes, I use this with stencils a lot, but I've been wanting to try that technique forever. Yes, that's right. Okay. Now I want to put this back in my book. my little recipe planner. I will put this under chef d'oeuvre, obviously. Wow. That's the first spot. So I will definitely, I think I will go with two by two, but I could make this whole um, side back here. I can just measure it and then stretch the picture out but I think I'll probably just do it on that side sorry for the glare there let me just pull you back up so you can see better okay guys isn't that nice and you learned a little bit more about me <laughs> and I am very, very nostalgic and I am a very sentimental person and, you know, a lot of things ha hold a lot of meaning to me and for me in my life. So I hope that shines through and you receive that message, you know, and I hope it makes you feel good. So if you guys like this video or if you have any sort of eccentric thing that you do when you cook because i am totally a deep person <laughs> i've mentioned that before like i do casual of course you know that's the way of the world but i really like deep meaningful relationships with the people in my life that is how i've always been so i'll be interested to know if you guys have anything like that that you do um, you know, it's fun. It's fun to share. Sharing is caring, as Martha Stewart says. Okay, guys, if you like this kind of video and if you stuck around to see the whole thing, I really am grateful 
and I appreciate you guys. Um, <laughs> and I thank you ever so kindly for watching. And I hope that you do take into consideration subscribing to my channel. I do this strictly for fun. It is a leisure activity for me. And I really sincerely enjoy sharing with you folks. So happy planning, happy recipe planning, happy menu planning, and all that good kind fun stuff. I hope you have a beautiful day. Peace out.